Well, Todd Woodbridge, what a pleasure to have you here. This feels right, a doubles pairing over coffee. Absolutely, sure. I mean, for me, Aussie Open is a perfect way to start the day. These are big days where there is so much going on and I've got to stay fired up. What is your relationship like with coffee? It's funny because it's grown. You know, I travelled from such a young age and went and played in Italy and I vividly remember uh, tournaments in Bologna where you have the traditional Italian bar with espressos and I, at that point I thought, oh, how can they drink that? And now I understand why. How old were you? At the time? I was uh, 18, 19 and I don't think the coffee culture had really grown in Australia at that particular point. I'll share a secret that by the time I'm doing the night match here, there is a warm up coffee as you go into the big night match because it's, you know, that's when our big TV ratings start to hit yeah. and that's when things really have to be energized and excited, so it helps. You've got to be on. I've got to be on. Of course, you're known as an absolute tennis legend, you're in the Hall of Fame both in Australia and internationally, and you're known predominantly as a doubles player, but of course you would have started your career trying to be a singles player, and you yeah. were very successful in singles, yeah. you got to number 19 <laughs> in the world. <laughs> I'm do glad. people forget that? Yeah, they do forget that. I was never, as Mark Woodford, was never um, a, a doubles only player. Ah. We played singles first, doubles second, we also played mixed, I won six mixed yeah. Grand Slam doubles titles to go with it, but singles, my dream was to do well at Wimbledon. I got to play my very first Wimbledon match in the main draw, I qualified. I drew Pat Cash in the singles. He was the defending champion, so my first main draw singles match was on the was center 89. court. Yeah, I walked out on the center court for the first one. It was unbelievable. I got smashed, <laughs> but I couldn't wait to get back out there again. That was the interesting thing. It didn't drive me away. It just made me want it even more. I had my best ever singles win. Uh, the, the next year, I beat Pete Sampras in the first round. Wow. One of his few losses at Wimbledon, of course he went on to pretty good things yeah, there. Okay. He hadn't won one by that point. So tell me how you find a doubles partner. Is it as simple as in the locker rooms, you heard coffee and you're like, hey Todd, I heard you didn't have a partner, do you want to have a game? How does that happen? Well, it can be that simple or you can be more strategic. Myself, I was always looking for a partner that I, A, first and foremost, thought I could win with. Yep. So Mark Woodford was the prime partner for me because when I started to play with him, he's five years older than me. John McEnroe and he had won a US Open together. I wanted to play with an Aussie because there was the connection. McEnroe was retiring. Mark was available. He's a lefty. I was a righty. In history, they had always been the best combinations. Yeah. And then chatting to him, I said, well, I think we could do well together. And he sort of agreed, picked up on it, and that was how we started. Todd Woodbridge, absolute pleasure, James, you're a legend. Thanks, Tura.